she kind of went completely off the grid, right? Mm-hmm. It was like living in a farm or something. That was the big thing, too, at the beginning was, uh, are they married? Are they brother and sister? Which I always thought was a weird thing, to, because you could have immediately put those rumors to rest. Right. But, but you don't. Like, you yeah. didn't. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, are they siblings or are they married? You go, well, I bet they're siblings because they look very similar. It's like he looked in the mirror and went, I want somebody, in the pound cake thing. He wanted to run into his own arms. But um, she was the Pat Carney of the White Stripes. But I don't know what she's doing now, you know? Maybe they'll come back together if uh, White Stripes get inducted. Cavaliers are off tonight. Uh, They lost by three last night to the uh, Miami Heat. We were all there. Uh, We were having a good time. Well, we weren't all there. Pound Cake wasn't there. Uh, But uh, those of us who were, we had a good time. Uh, Both of the Keiths were there. Mm -hmm. The place was filled to the brim with Keiths. And I have to think that they weren't the only ones there. It was a great crowd last night. But there's no way that um, our two friends in management were the only two Keiths there. Just the law of averages says that that can't be the case. But I wonder if... Two of them, just in our company alone, had anything to do with maybe the name Keith being the most represented one at the game last night. There was probably only one Darius. Uh, there was probably only one. I doubt that. Chetty. I think there's probably one Chetty, but there might have been another Darius. Really? You think yeah. that there was more than one Darius? Yeah. Huh. It's not that uncommon of a name. All right, sir. Anyway, Cavs here at home tomorrow night. Play the Grizzlies at the Romo Fijo from Memphis, Tennessee, a town that needs good news right now is Memphis. And uh, even though, you know, your basketball winning games is a drop in the bucket, it's something. People love sports. That's what I've heard. Mm-hmm. I Boy, you look around, people <laughs> love the sports. They can't get enough from what I understand. So that's uh, tomorrow night here on MMS. And your promo code for CLE Clothing Company for February is Heartthrob. And then I get you 20% off whatever you want. Speaking of loving sports, imagine loving it so much that you die right there at the game because you just can't get it together. This is in northern Vermont. Happened last night. Alberg, Vermont. We've got a handful of bureau chiefs in the state of Vermont. I don't know if any of them live near Alberg. This is a middle school basketball game where a huge brawl of spectators broke out. Parents fighting each other over some perceived slight. I don't know. And among them was a 60-year-old guy named Russell Giroux who ended up dying. Right there at the game. Huge fight in the stands during the 7th and 8th grade boys basketball game between Alberg and St. Albans. And the fight dispersed before the cops got there and people were kind of trickling out. 60-year-old Russell said, I got a pain in my chest. You know, he was swinging. He was getting in there. He's having a good time, making some contact at a middle school basketball game. Most important basketball game you could ever attend. People just can't keep it together. I don't understand. People cannot keep it together. Anyway, uh, he was taken uh, to the hospital and pronounced dead. So that fight, just too much for him. But Imagine if you're on one of those teams. Hey, did you win last night? A, a guy died. I know that. Dude out in the parking lot. This is a town of about 2,100 people. So it's not a big town. Surrounded on three sides by Lake Champlain. You would think, I mean, literally, it's like the border of Canada. You would think that these people, small town, lake community, uh, would say, hey, man, I know it's winter time. I know it's Vermont. Let's settle this over a frosty mug, 
uh, syrup over a frosty mug of syrup. You know, you can't drink it quickly. And so that will allow you time to really talk it through. If you went out for a beer or something less viscous, you can chug that down and go, I got to get out of here. The old lady's waiting for me. These guys could have sat down uh, over over uh, uh, syrups and uh, frosty syrups. <laughs> yeah, fr- cold syrup. Frosty mug of syrup. Well, yeah, frosty syrups. And um, take four hours to drink that. Right. Now here's my question. And your heart still might stop. Right. Right. Here's my question. Do you put the word melee in the obituary? Because that's a great word. And you don't get to use it all that often. Do you put the word melee? Because you know when something dumb like this happens, when you die in one of the dumbest ways possible, your family can't put that in there. He died because he got into a fight at a seventh grade basketball game. You, You can't put that in there. So the family, they're grieving. They put all kinds of, you know. He died doing what he loved, embarrassing everyone. There you go. That's something good. But working the word melee in there, you can never go wrong. Mary, you've written an obituary. Would yeah. you put melee in one? Uh, not in the one that I've written, no. Well, not in that one, but like. You've, you've written more than one obituary? No, I've only written one. Oh. But, it, I mean, but I it always. Doesn't, but for I had to write my dad's. It. It doesn't fit, right? Our dads weren't in melees. No, my dad wasn't a melee kind of guy. Right. I do like the overly uh, honest obituaries. I don't know if you've ever gone down this rabbit hole where people were like, he was a piece of trash. Oh, yeah. No one liked him. (laughs) Yeah, those are great. Yeah. So maybe they might fit that into this guy's. Always starting problems. Now. Melaying it up. In an alternate universe, you know, I kept, it was my birth that kept my dad from going to Vietnam. Because in 1971... Kept him out of a melee. I kept him out of me lie. <laughs> Possibly, I kept him out of me lie. Now, had I had to put that in an obituary, that would have been a whole thing. Because then you, then you have to qualify, Vietnam vets, right? You got to go, oh, he was in me lie. He wasn't part of the massacre. He, ha- he never laid a hand on any civilians. You know, because if you're, if you're in some part... Uh, if you're deployed somewhere that's closely identified with something awful, you have to make that specific. You got to go, well, he was in me lie, but he didn't do any massacring. Right. He, he so. Um, but I didn't get to. But but for a situation like this, boy, melee is a great word. And work it in. But what a dumb way to die. No, I don't know. I don't know what the guy looks like. I don't know if he was fat. I don't know if he was, you know, had a heart condition. I- Ball game. 17 is too old to be fighting at a middle school basketball game, but at least you could go, well, they're in high school. You know, they got up. They had too many frosty mugs of syrup. They're all and, hyper. Right. Um, oh, our iHeartRadio app. People can leave messages there for us if you like a little talk back button. Hey, I just discovered something about the Go Fund Yourself contest. Whenever the keyword is bonus, if you type in boner, the website will accept it. So potentially you could win $1,000 by typing the word boner into a website. Just wanted people to know. Oh, I love that. that. That's, a, that's a great little life hack because he typed in boner the last time. He just explained it. Or he's trying to throw people off. That's what I was saying. Boner he's, he's, and then improve his chances to get bonus. Well, let me see if bonus is going to come up again, and then maybe I can give people, because I'm not giving anything away by telling them when a word, you can't put it in until that word comes up. Mm -hmm. But to, as that guy is trying to prep them, the word bonus will come up again. First word, well, no, I'm sorry, I'm a day off. It will come up in the noon hour with Stansbury tomorrow. So when that word comes up, type boner into WMMS.com and see if it takes it. Because if you type in the wrong word, it will tell you, right? There's been times where I've screwed up the word, pilot error, on my part. I've screwed up the word, and boy, people want to tell me. And I want to know, quite frankly, if I screw up, you got to tell me that. Because I don't want anybody missing out on that money. So if you type in the wrong word, but according to that guy... 
and I take him at his word, he sounded trustworthy. Uh, that um, you could type in boner, and it would uh, accept it. But is the robot that is accepting the word boner, is that the end all be all? Like there, there's someone that's going to come by. I, I'm imagining this. I, I'm assuming that someone's going to look at that and be like, oh, they type boner, not bonus, so you don't qualify. Wait, who's looking? This is all automated. It's I'm not. Owner. Yeah. What, Grandma? Boner. But the oh. person who the person who sends out the money or the machine that sends out the money is not looking at if it's verified or not. No, I somebody somewhere yeah, they're gonna gets an it. email says, "Here's your winner. Call it, them." It doesn't show the word. And if that okay. person, I don't even know if it shows the word. Okay. I, I don't even know if it says um, they won on this word. Just because I've seen those emails, it's a name. And their ad- or their email, I think, or phone number, or whatever. So like, so that's why they tell me they go, "Hey, just let people know, Jimmy from Middleburg Heights won a thousand bucks with you yesterday." And blah, Jimmy, blah, blah. Jimmy, give me some of that money. I've lost, Yo, Jimmy. Lo- I've lost a lot of friends from being on this show because you it, have it, not. I have I because have friends are losing. Code. They don't want. I have a lot of friends, <laughs> but they don't want to claim me because. If you're affiliated with the station, you can't win those prizes. And they're like, Can it's I? like they're, blood relatives. But that's they're, not they're losing like, friends. That's people going, hey, homie, I, I'm trying to win this money. Your friends can win money. You, they can't be employed yeah, by the company or excuse, are related to you. To be like, hey, I can't talk to you <laughs> yeah. anymore. That's just what I'm they told kidding. you yeah. was their reason. <laughs> that text to win contest. Yeah, that was a light breakup, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Well, then. Oh, hey, you want to hang out this weekend? Oh, I can't because I'm trying to win this thousand dollars. Thousand dollar keyword. Trying to go fund myself you. so you can go mm, yourself. Boy, that's sad. Fund off. <laughs> Have you you've actually had people in your life say this to you? I've had people text me. Yeah, like they're well, they they're it's been in the past, but like. These yeah. are like real friends. Well, well what do you find, define a real friend? Like someone that like not a my person co- you hang you out, hung out with in yeah. real life. I have hung out with them. They're not close friends, but they're they'll they'll text me. They're like, "What's the keyword?" And then I'll tell them, and then they'll be like, "Oh, dude, whatever." I'm like, "What?" They're like, "I can't win, can I?" you be like, "Cause it's like the little disclaimer." I'm like, "Well, don't tell them. Don't tell them you know me." I don't think the disclaimer says friends. Can, I mean, I don't. I don't know what the disclaimer any, says. Any if you're loosely associated with anyone who's employed by, our, there would be no winners. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if somebody I know wins the money, I didn't know they. It's all, you know yeah, what I mean. Think like, it's rigged. But there's no way to rig it. You put the word in, and they computer. say thank you. We don't, yeah, we don't thank know you. who gets picked. No. <laughs> there's no Listen, way. If to, there was a way to rig it. It We're would be rigged. On radio. That's right. someone would try and rig it. <laughs> but that's also why all these contests are that way now, because a long time ago, people were doing things like that. There were dudes getting fired because he let his girlfriend win. Or yes. Like, yeah. Or yeah, got his wife a trip to something. There, there'll be sometimes where literally it'll it'll play, and I just won't hear it. It'll be like during commercial break or whatever. And they'd be like, what's the keyword? I was like, I don't know. They're like, you just don't want me to win. I'm like, well, damn. I was like, I don't care that you win. Why would I care that you win $1,000? Well, wouldn't you be happy if for You them? don't care that they win. You just don't want to make sure that they don't. It's your petty. You talk about it all the time. He's my chief petty officer. Mm-hmm. But no, they don't believe me when I tell them that I don't remember the keyword. Like, I was like, I really don't remember. I don't, like, you, you got me. In this is the a person middle. that I don't want to. Why would you want to be friends with this person? I would just block their number. It, it, sometimes it's like a Facebook message, or sometimes it's like a I, I block them. Instagram like, message. If, if if they're that annoying about it, or to the point where like I've had people be like, "What's the coat or the word before?" Yeah, I've had. That but too. I, if if they go, "Come on, I know you know it," I'd be like, "Bye, I'm never talking to you again." Well, again, this I don't necessarily think a person that I've hung out with before is a friend, but just someone I, I associate with. I've hung out with them before I got a beer, and then they'll listen Did to the show. Them in Jamaica? No. I haven't mm-hmm. seen that guy since. Hmm. You didn't even... No, how's that work? He didn't see you, did he? That was the joke. He didn't see yeah. him either. Mm. Alan, the White Stripes recorded their album right before divorcing, and then they blew up. 
and he had taken her name and asked her not to reveal that they were divorced. They let people think they were married so he could still pick up women? What? That doesn't... I, I, whatever. I, I don't know if any of that's true, but... It's women's favorite thing. It's like, oh, you're married? Perfect. This is my favorite thing to do. <laughs> you want to hear more Jenna? Yeah. She leaves me lots of messages, boy. It's time for Sweet Nothings with Jenna from Poland. My dad's real name is Amy. Alexa's really a queer man. This has been Sweet Nothings with Jenna from Poland. Hmm. Alexa's a queer man. All right. I hear from my dad through the Alexa. Nothing sounded hinky over there. Hello, this is your father speaking from the Alexa. Sounds gay to me. (laughs) <laughs> that does. Uh-huh. Well, this is your father speaking from the Alexa. Uh, now I hear it. Now I hear it. Gay. Now I hear it. Come on down. Pretty gay. Why didn't you tell me that you were gay? Mm. <laughs> it's so good. She just hits all the notes. The vibrato. Peggy Scott's the best. Okay, cake, have you watched any? You see Stormy Daniels has a gay dating show? No. Remember Stormy Daniels? Yeah, no, I remember her. I remember her lawyer, too. Yeah. Michael Avenatti. Mm-hmm. He's in that Pepsi Where's My Jet documentary. It's called For the Love of Dilfs, which I didn't get at first, but I guess it means daddies. Mm-hmm. Dads. Yeah. It's I mean, just the, the dad version. Right, right, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I guess I'd never heard of gay guys being called that. I mean, you know, Bill, I hear it all the time, but, you know, well, because I'm a dad. I mean, I, I don't think it's used as commonly for gay guys because That's correct. there's not as many actual fathers. fathers. It should be zilfs. Or filth. Like, read you for filth. Oh, I oh. thought you were, like, saying a slur. <laughs> <laughs> you stopped me dead in my tracks. I was like, I was like that doesn't you? seem like an oh Allen God. joke. I collect my pearls. <laughs> Father. <laughs> you dummies. Father. I, I want the other one. I want the other one. You know what? I'll get no. canceled. We'll get syndicated all over the country. <laughs> Even if I meant so, it, I didn't say it. You can't prove that's what I meant. No, I mean father. Bring that to Peacock. <laughs> Is that where the show is? Where I don't even know where they're no. showing this. No, I don't know. I've never heard of it until you said Oh, for the love something. of Dilfs. Yeah. Stormy Daniels. So she's a gay icon now? Five himbos shuffle between five daddies to compete for $10,000. That's not a lot of money. That's like low-grade yeah. cooking what show money. This, what is this on? Tubi? Yeah, right? I don't know. I thought it was... Um, $5,000. That's not... It's on Out TV. Okay. I've never even heard of that. Right. It must be a, str- oh, a web streaming network, like on YouTube. Oh, they're, they're all streamed on the web. I'm right. saying like an app or something. I don't know. Yeah, yes, maybe. I don't like know. Just like Netflix is an app. It's not primarily an <laughs> app, Bill. There's some things that are just... Oh, come on. Tell, tell me where it's not an app. I'm saying it's not just an app. There's some that you can't get on a regular TV. <laughs> what was the app that? Oh, uh, Quibi. Yeah, that's what, like that was one of the ones. They, mainly on your phone. Right, and it went out of business immediately. They're like, oh, we should probably put, if we're going to show TV shows, we should put the app on TVs. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very complicated. Out TV is a Canadian channel. That is Slag Wars is one of their shows. Do they have any uh, giant, giant syrup, uh, frosty syrup mugs? Frothy syrup show. That's not on here. No. Wait, what's this giant avocado? To- uh, Slag Wars is one of their shows. This basically sounds like logo in Canada. Uh, there's uh, Camp Wanakiki. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Camp Wanakiki. Uh X-rated NYC. You should be getting on Out TV, Pound Cake. It's outtv.ca because it's Canadian. You actually probably could. Yeah. Get on a VPN or something. It's out of Montreal or something? Oh, I don't know about that. I I I don't know. It's Canadian. That's what the .ca means. Vancouver is where they're headquartered. X-rated New York City. What happens when four of the most famous 
gay porn stars in the world run wild in New York. Ooh, let's see if I know. Joey Mills, oh, okay. Max Connor, Boomer Banks, I don't, I know him. and Dante Cole. Oh, wow. I know three, uh, three hey, out of four. Hey, there you go. I thought- Congratulations, man. <laughs> Happy for you. Just saying. like, that's- This might be for you. Bored with Logo? How about Out TV? It's a show called Cam Boy and Boy Boy Montreal. Oh, I didn't realize Canada was just so gay. Why are they so gay? You thought that America just had gay people? Is that what's... No, I'm just saying, we they have they celebrate gay people way more in Canada than they do here. Like, gay gay shows over here, unless it's like the stereotypical like flamboyant gay, they kind of flop. They have a lot of different gay shows in Canada. Well, because Canada I'm sure wasn't that... founded on Christianity, duh. But also, I bet but that I'm all angry. these shows are crazy flamboyant, too. Um, well, I don't think these are like executives, you know. Well, the, let's gay men in the office. The porn stars that you listed, I I've watched some of their work, and they're not crazy flamboyant. Oh. So I'm just saying, like when we get like a, a TV butch. show, like uh, based off like a a guy like Matt Bomber, that no one wants to watch him because he's not putting his hands in the air and and flailing, you know, doing the typical. He's not checking the gay boxes. Yeah, because he's just a gay guy, but he's not. Hey. So, hmm. but RuPaul's Drag Race is only getting longer. They extended it to like two hours. Well, he is very tall. I've got to take a break. 